Here at Riverworks, if you imagine maybe seven years ago, this was all just old, decrepit, abandoned warehouses and concrete remnants of industry that used to be here. Um, much of the lower Buffalo River used to look like that. In fact, much of the six miles of the Buffalo River used to be that. But it was about several decades ago that between the local community and nonprofits like Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper and our government partners like DEC and the EPA and Army Corps of Engineers, we all worked together for a decade or more to do all the science and all the technology and all the research and the studies that was needed to clean up this river. Um, it took about 10 years and a lot of blood, sweat and tears, but we were able to dredge over a million cubic yards of contamination out of this river. Um, it was over a century in the making and we were able to get it out in about 10 years. So that work is still ongoing. And the reason we did it is exactly what you can see here. This waterfront is thriving. It is thriving with recreational activity. It is thriving with economic activity. That is exactly what it was intended to do. Um, we were able to do that through the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative and a lot of um, advocacy in Washington, D.C. and Albany to make sure that investments in our waterways are valued just as much as we have investments in other infrastructure in our country, and in particular here in Western New York.